morning meditation. I'm your host, Ed, and today I'm joined by these two beautiful people. Hello, Ed. Hi, Ed. So today we're going to deal with methods of achieving inner tranquility. We'll begin to dismantle personal tensity throughout your normal day-to-day -day routines. Yeah, not only does work and school cause tension, but, you know, our social lives can be a real pain, too. I totally agree. After a tense day, I would come home and sit in front of the TV with a carton of ice cream, but now I know there are better ways. And that is, of course, what we are going to be doing today. Showing how in the mornings and after a long day, you can simply take a moment to yourself or with your sweetheart and let it flow. Are we talking about yoga, Ed? Yeah, meditation, inner peace, all that. Precisely. Yoga and meditation a couple times a day will replenish and center your prana, or your energy life force. And this morning we are going to demonstrate a simple sequence anyone can use just to get started. A lot of it depends on the breathing that goes along with each position. When you breathe in a unified rhythm, you absolve grief, you rid of dispute, and you transcend the stilling of your mind through the changes of states. That all sounds great, but are some positions better than others? Like, how do I know what to choose after I get home from a long such, day? Is there such thing as a bad position, Ed? I'm glad you asked. A poorly executed position can be harmful, but each one has a different purpose. Like the various sequences and poses, there are many kinds of stress out there. Anything currently aggravating? Well, it's a bit personal. Uh, but my boyfriend of two years just broke it off with me a week ago, and I'm still not really sure how to handle it. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Loretta, but stress from sadness is very common. What about you? Well, my stress is a bit different, Ed. You see, it's finals, and at the beginning of the semester, I thought it would be easy, but now the workload is starting to pile up, and now i got to study to the max. That is the prime example of education-induced stress. I'm sure many of our viewers can relate to both of these situations. And if you're dealing with other stressful situations, do not fret. We have solutions for many more right after these messages. Namaste, and welcome back to Monday Morning Meditation. I hope you didn't eat breakfast yet, because as you can see, we are all set up to demonstrate Surya Namaskara, or the Sun Salutation. We will go through 12 poses to complete a full cycle. Each pose focuses on a different chakra. As you can see, we are beginning to breathe in and out at a steady pace. To properly send your salutation, make sure to face east in the morning and west in the evening. Exactly. This means we've established a unified anchor to ourself and the light. Now, go ahead and just reach up towards it nice and high while retaining that rhythm. Now, at a comfortable pace, begin to lean back with your arms still in the air 
and slowly inhale and exhale. Hold this for a few peaceful beats. This technique stretches out your inner core and keeps your body aligned with itself. Now that we're ready, let's reach down to our feet and exhale, keeping our heads down. Now go ahead and lift your head up and look forward. I can feel it in my lower back. We're coming to one of the most important transitions from the sun salutation, where we move from standard position to plank. Very good. We need to make sure our backs are straight and arms and hands are shoulders width apart, just to make sure everything is flowing smoothly throughout the body. This way, we guarantee a proper execution. Now slowly lower down by bending your arms. Don't lower completely to the floor. And push up into your upward facing dog position. And once you're here, exhale. From here, we need to push away all the negativity that clouds us by pushing up with our arms and moving our bodies away from them into the downward facing dog position. Do not be afraid to feel it in your muscles. This is good for you. Now moving out of the downward facing dog can be done in a couple of different ways. I recommend looking at the space between your hands and bring over one leg at a time until you are in the crouch position. All right, now slowly begin to lift up your body while still reaching down. Now, this should feel familiar to you now. Now slowly begin to curl back up while still bringing your hands up until you are back in the first position with your hands in the air. Now lower to a closed position. You have now completed the cycle of the sun salutation. Of course, a perfect sequence includes multiple cycles of full, to fully rid any aggravation from the body. So let's just do a few more of these together. Notice how each position moves fluidly into one another and through one another and keeps the energy flowing from head to toe. Great job, Loretta. That is a very good upward facing dog. Make sure to keep the breathing in a unified rhythm. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And inhale, and finally, exhale. I hope you are all feeling as fantastic as we do right now. But remember to keep breathing. Now that we have come through the full cycle, Let's complete the exercise with a resting state. Here we will lay back on our backs and allow our palms to face up while our feet fall apart with a single most relaxing position for the body. This state of rest is called the Shavasana or the corpse pose. While in this pose, try to visualize a single strand of light swelling and shrinking throughout your being congruent to the light corresponding within. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you next week. Namaste.